Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have hit the headlines recently for their involvement in different political matters. Last month the Duchess of Sussex wrote an open letter to Congress, advocating for paid family leave in the U.S. They also wrote a letter for COP26, asking world leaders to take action in ending the pandemic during this window of opportunity. Neil Sean spoke about the snub on his YouTube channel. He said, as you know, they were not invited because it was just senior royals of the British royal family. That didnt stopped the twosome deciding that they could have an input. He added, according to a source, Harry and Meghan allegedly offered to send a video. Any chance to get on Zoom and they're there. It's interesting because they wanted to offer not necessarily a political statement, but their good wishes to people attending. Can't knock them for that. They had good intentions. Mr. Neil said, Apparently the organizers for COP26 were very keen, but it was very early stages so it wasn't quite broached with HRH Prince Charles or Prince William. This is where it all went wrong. The bigger problem for Harry and Meghan was that once Her Majesty decided to pull out, then the next stage was to record her own personal tribute. What a speech it was. I thought it was terrific. Once the Queen offered to send a video, all of the bets were off. This is the problem Harry and Meghan have going forward. The other senior royals have the seniority. COP26 organizers were very thankful at the fact Meghan and Harry offered to do a video. The couple have since made a statement vowing to become carbon neutral by 2030. They claimed, as global leaders convene for COP26 to commit to solutions for our climate crisis, all of us at Archwell, led by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, share our pledge towards a more sustainable future by becoming net zero by 2030. We are a young company, but today, Archwell joins our co-founders in committing to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2030. Achieving net zero carbon emissions means making a series of choices over time to make that footprint as small as possible while compensating for any remaining emissions through high quality carbon removal projects. They have recently been slammed for their frequent use of private jets.